Hey guys, so right now when we do our subscription for a new message right here, we are getting every single message that users are creating. And we don't want to set it up like that. How we want to do it is only see the messages that a specific listing is uh, being, a chat is happening basically. So if I'm chatting with a user about a listing, I don't want to get messages from other people's stuff. So we're going to add a filter on this subscription so you can limit it down. So I'm going to add a variable here so you can specify how you want this to be filtered and it's going to be the listing ID, which is going to be a string. So now in my resolver over here, I can use that parameter to filter um, this subscription. If we come over here, we can see the documentation for GraphQL subscriptions we can use a command called with filter. And I'm gonna copy what they do right here because we're gonna do something very similar. So let's hop back over here. I'm gonna paste that there. And now they were getting with filter from GraphQL subscription. We're gonna get ours from GraphQL yoga with filter. And now our subscribe here is going to be um, similar. So here I'm going to copy. We get our pub sub from the context. And then our channel name is pub sub new message. All right, I can get rid of that now. So here's what our with filter looks like. Here is the same thing we had before. Now we're adding the second thing that allows us to filter. So the variables that we're going to look at is what we added right here, so the listing ID. So I'm gonna say variables.listing ID. And so what happens is whenever anyone publishes a uh, message, we can get it in the payload. So the payload, the key is gonna be new message. And we can check the listing ID on it. And if the listing ID on the message matches um, what the user requested that they wanted to listen for, then we're going to give them that update. So let's take a look at this in action. So I currently have two listings, uh, this guy and this guy. So I'm going to subscribe to this listing right here. So let's go ahead and refresh this. I'm going to say listing ID and go ahead and subscribe to that. So now I'm listening for updates. Um, to this listing. So if I were to create a message for this other listing, if we come over here, we don't see anything because it's the wrong listing. But if I were to update this with the one that we subscribe to, paste that in, hit that, we can now see hi and we see that particular listing pop up. So perfect. So now we have successfully filtered or added a filter onto our subscription uh, and now we can just listen for the events that we want.